Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. So I talked to Chad a little bit earlier today. He uh, basically told me that the new Dungeons and Dragons movie was actually pretty damn good. Oh, really? Yeah. Dungeons and Dragons content is weird. Sometimes it's hit or miss. I mean, sometimes you get, you know, the Legend of Vox Machina. And then other times you get the Dungeons and Dragons movie that came out in the 2000s. There were parts of that film that I, I liked, but for the most part, it was a real piece of Bruh. Yeah, it never watched it, but I heard it was bad. Yeah, be thankful you didn't watch it. It's just not good. Definitely compared to this. Oh my god, compared to this. This, this knocks it out of the park. Vox Machina. Which now, uh, we are nearing the end of season two. <clears throat> after, uh, after Grog has got his hands on the, uh, on the gauntlets, uh, we're gonna jump into episode 11 of season two, The Belly of the Beast. You came up here to sleep with your daughter. No, 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 I mean, no, I, I, I feel like I wouldn't have let it get that far. I recognize your eyes, your ears, your hair. So much like your mother. It was love uh. at first sight. We talked till sunrise about music and dirty jokes, our hopes and fears. She unlocked my. <laughs> but then, as quickly as it started, the world got in the way. In all these years, I never got over Leia. That's not my mom. <laughs> such, wow. a, such a nice, rich backstory delivered up on a silver platter. I was expecting her to just be like, yeah, that's not at all how she tells that story. Like, yeah, yeah I, I expected that too. Not the whole, that's not my mom. Are you sure? You fucking asshole! Whoa, wait, wait, uh... Phoebe, Janet, Bert, Clara, Coriander. I, I feel like it starts with a C. Her name was Sybil, and you left her like she was nothing. Mom raised me alone, struggled endlessly to support us. She deserved better. I've made a lifetime of mistakes, and I'm not sure why I'm this way, but my heart is breaking a hundred times for not knowing about you. So go on, stab me. You've earned it. She doesn't have it. Oh. That'd be helping you run away again. So I'll do worse than kill you. I'll leave you with this burden. It's yours now, Dad. <laughs> Stupid thing. Ow. But please, just let me. You run around acting all willy nilly, you're gonna wind up spreading your seed a little too far, and you're gonna wind up having some children that are very, very angry at you for not being there for them. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Please, usher us into the beyond. Ah. What do you want from me? Have you ever had your life change and you don't know what comes next? Daily. I'm starting to think that, yeah, the worst things in life come from fear, but maybe the best things do too. You don't get to choose your part in the play, but a true performer commits anyway. Sorry, this isn't helpful. You're saying you can't let fear hold you back. Take the plunge. So you just found out you had a, a puppy and you try to sleep with that that, that that bad analogy oh please god tell me this is a metaphor i was thinking we implement gersh's law of opposing forces that, that, and set a trap too high too high thinking you can come out vex i heard you four blocks ago Ugh, don't flatter yourself i wasn't the one making that racket <laughs> Hi. Oh, wow. Am I really that loud? Sir, so, can to tell us why you're sneaking up? The matron of ravens. She's in my head. And I need to find these answers on my own. 
Do not go far from me. I mean, the little I've heard about the matron's flock is super creepy. They're into torture and starvation and ceremonial flaying and enemas and Caleb, what the fuck? Stop. Jesus H <laughs> God. When I get nervous, I talk. No shit. He's just been so closed off lately. I know you have feelings for him. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, this isn't something we have to talk about now or uh, ever, what? honestly. I know he still cares for you. You think? What should I do? Don't let him get away. Take the plunge. Taking advice from Scanlon. <laughs> <laughs> I think you basically. I think you basically have to be on the brink of death in order to see her. Could be. The threads of fate are not puppet strings. They connect life to destiny. 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 You are fate touched, able to see and bend the threads around you. All the living share one experience. Death. We must safeguard that beautiful moment when the soul transitions to a new purpose. You want me to shepherd them? In a sense, yes. Me You're neither. afraid of dying. dying. Of course I am. Don't be. I've been watching you longer than you know. There is much to fear, but not death, for it gives meaning. <coughs> oh god, that's gonna stain. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm fine. I'm better than fine. You are Let's head back. I'll explain on the way. Okay. You wanna take a bath first. Addition of pressure activates the coils of the Oh for God's sakes. You dig there. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say there? Pay attention to how the trap will. Ah! Ah! Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> He's not very smart, is he? <laughs> oh. Book smarts and street smarts are definitely it, it, two different things. Yes, they are. May you wield it more honorably than my father. Nothing to say. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> I can change. No more brothels. Ugh. Okay, yeah, I, I know that sounds super gross, but it's actually a big step for me. I. And she's gone. You are wise to not show your faces today. Could have covered it up better. Ooh, Ooh still got, got it. Man. Now! Uh oh. No, you don't. Ooh, okay. Don't hold back. We've got him right where we Damn it. Damn. Son of a bitch. Oh, great. Oh, that's new. Visibility? Ouch. Can't hit what you can't see. You're pretty fucking big, so I'm sure you can eventually reach past. I found out I'm the champion of the Matron of Ravens. I found out I'm a father. You, you win. <laughs> <laughs> Need to get inside that dragon. What, inside? There are a mouthful of acid. No way. There is a way. The other way. Oh, are you serious? Gotcha. All right. Do some work, Grog. Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> so, can, we, can, can we just, like, launch ourselves up the dragon's ass? Roll for it? <laughs> like, I guess. Gross. Oh. Actually think this would work. Right, let's see this fucker try to fly away now. Oh. Yeet! 
shame me. You will not. God dang it. Uh oh. Shit. And that's where we lead into the finale. Damn it. But they definitely cut a weak point in him, though. Oh, yeah. So that's one of the whole problems with dragons, usually, is getting through their hide. Oh, well, yeah, because it's usually, like, thicker than steel, mm -hmm. usually. Like, the scales alone. But damn. So there's a reason they make armor out of dragon hide after they kill dragons and fantasy stuff. Oh, yes, because it is very much a valuable resource. Strong, yes, but yeah, that was a uh, that was a hell of a oh god, Scanlan, you dirty bastard. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, that's well, gonna as do. As he said it. in a previous episode, he is acquainted with back doors. Yes, yes, he is, but that huh. <laughs> there ain't nothing else to say, everybody. So, if only um, they had a wizard with them. They could have brought the wizard inside and could have cast Fireball and just like blew him up from the inside. Yeah, but I still think that that sword play was a, was still a good idea. Mm. But I would have put it a little bit like higher up, like near the throat, mm. because yeah, I I don't know, but I guess. We'll find out how this gets resolved in the next episode. So, until then, everybody, signing off. I'm Nate. I am Nick. Y'all be good people. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.